Hi guys, Jesse here again. This is lesson 33. I'm just kidding. I don't know what lesson it is. I really don't. <laughs> this is tweening. This is the big one. This is how to animate. Basically. Uh, basically as in this is the basic of basics. Um, I'm going to get into more advanced stuff later, but this is where it starts. So coming from my last video, we have our little Pac-Man nugget here. Um, select this. Create it into a movie clip. Actually, wait. What am I doing? No, that's stupid. Uh, don't do that. Um, um, you can. I told you about animating within movie clips, so you know how to do that. Let's actually talk about animating on the timeline, because once you make it into a movie clip and double double click inside, it's going to be another its own timeline. So, what's the point? So here I have my Pac-Man ball. Um, you notice I only have one frame selected. This is called a keyframe. All these blank white squares, that's your timeline. That's as many frames as you can hold right now. If you want more, you could just insert as much as you want. Like if I keep right-click, insert frame, it'll just keep going until I'm done. So let's start with simple, 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 simple. The timeline is where everything happens, like I said. Down here, you have your new layer, so you can have as many layers as you want. Let's say you want to give them a face. But you don't want to do it on the on the ball layer because now that I draw the face, if I want to move them around, you know, if I click anywhere else, boom, the face stays. You don't want that. Always, always create stuff in its own separate layer. It makes things so much easier. So look. Boom, boom, boom. Draw the face. Now I can move the face if I want. See, he's looking up, looking down. Wee. I can move the head or ball if I want. It's all much, much simpler. So keep that in mind. Always use layers. If you don't want a layer, go to this trash can, hit delete, boom, it's gone. If your layers get really out of control and crazy, create a new folder. You can name it, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then if you have a lot of layers like that, you can manage them in this folder. You just click and drag them into the folder. Now select that and boom. They're not gone. They're just in the folder. So you can expand and close. It, it really helps with the organization. I'm not very organized, so I don't use it much. But uh, that's horrible. So tweening. Tweening is essentially creating a keyframe at the beginning and a keyframe at the end. And the computer will animate everything in between. It, um, the term actually comes from the, you know, the golden age of animation, you know, where people would draw on paper. You guys remember that? You know what pencils are? And... He would create, a, like, say, like a, a frog. You know how a frog, you know, leaps. Like, it's leaping on a lily pad. The frog, the first keyframe would be the frog on the floor. The second keyframe would be the frog in the air. The third keyframe would be the frog on the ground. He would hand those three drawings to the animator and say, have fun, draw everything in between. Now, that's good to do it yourself if you know frame-by-frame -frame animation. You, you know, you're good at drawing, but... You know, sometimes that gets a little out of hand, so keyframing really helps speed up the process. All right, so blah, 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 enough of me talking. You have your first keyframe. You want to right-click and create classic tween. Shape tween, I'll get into later. Um, yeah, I'll get into later. So let's say you want this ball to bounce. Boom, boom, okay? So you would create a keyframe, like let's say, at 10 frames. Right-click, insert keyframe, not blank keyframe. Blank keyframe will give it a blank keyframe. You don't want that. You want a keyframe. Not a frame, because that'll just extend it. You want a keyframe. Keyframe cuts it in half. Boom. So now I have this keyframe. Now all I have to do is click, hold, drag the ball down there. Now if I want to play the movie now, see how it's already starting to boom, boom, boom. But it looks ugly. So let's finish it. So uh, determine how fast you want it to go, because the more, f depending on your uh, frames per second, the more keyframes you have, the slower it'll go, the less, the faster. Again, you, you have to play around with your settings to see what you like. So let's just, you know, for simplicity, go at 20. Insert keyframe and drag it all the way over here. Now, play, and boom, it's bouncing. But if you notice, it's not really looping because normally these movies will loop once, it end, once the indicator, this is the indicator, or scrubber, I don't know what it's called, but once it reaches the end, it has nowhere else to go because there's no more keyframes there. So it's just going to loop. So if you want a nice looping animation, 
uh, what I would do was move this ball out of the way here into the gray area because everything in the white is only going to show. And boom, now do this. Boom, boom, boom. See? Animation. But uh, it's looking a little stiff right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to double the amount of keyframes. So I can just click and hold, select, right click, insert frame. Boom, I just doubled the amount of keyframes. Now, make, you want to make sure you know what you're doing and you want to know the difference between insert frame and insert keyframe. Because if I insert a keyframe, all it does is insert a keyframe at the beginning and it messes up my entire tween. I don't want to do that. Likewise, if I hit blank keyframe, it just blanks it. So, um, keyframe is for uh, keys. Just remember that. F insert frame is extending the current frame. Inserting a keyframe adds a new frame, keyframe to it. Just, I don't know, look it up. I'm not going to give you a freaking quiz. I don't care. So, boom, there you go. Now, if I play it, it's moving a little more smooth, but, you know, when balls bounce, they kind of squish. So what I'm going to do is where it is, uh, the middle keyframe, I'm going to take my free transform tool. I'm going to squish the ball a little bit. Then I'm going to bring it down to the floor. And since all I did was move the, the, th uh, the second keyframe, the computer is automatically going to do everything for me. Now see how it's kind of squishing? Boom, boom. And that's the basics right now. Um, again, if you have this program, which you should by now, I don't know why you're watching this if you don't, um, play around with this, you know. This is a ball. Maybe have uh, a frog, like I said. Draw the frog here, and then have a keyframe here, and he's up there, and have another one here, and make him hop. So you hop from there, there, there. So, you know, practice, practice, practice. That's what I did. That's how I got so godly awesome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not godly awesome. But again, just practice. Um, that's, that's, that's it for right now. Um, bounce. Uh, this scene is kind of awesome. I'm not going to name it. I'm going to kill it. File. Close. No, don't kill me. Aw. All right, next video.